time for another inspirational and motivational message from me, the organizer advisor, my mission to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life. And we have these daily videos to keep our momentum going, to help us work through some frameworks and structures that we have put in place so that we can do our work through the week and preserve our weekends or off time for cultivating joy, spending time with family, friends, and loved ones and pets. And so we work every day and I give you little hints all along the way. So speaking of, you may want to just get yourself a nice little journal. Um, it can be just a notebook. It can be something pretty that you want to write in so that you can jot down a few notes when we have our daily time together. Because there's a lot of times um, I think of things while I'm talking and I like sharing as much as possible with you. So thank you for all of my new subscribers, all of my followers on the Facebook page, all of you who are supporting my work and sharing this message with others so that other people can kind of get a management system for organization, house cleaning, and health and beauty routines so we can have this total life transformation. Okay, so today is Monday. This is the I think the 26th, yes, the 26th, and um, had a crown replaced this morning, so that's why this is a little delayed. Um, my appointment was at 8.30. I was going to try and get the video out before I left, and that didn't happen. So, big shout out to my dentist at Niceville Smiles in Niceville, Florida, right next to Eglin Air Force Base. Um, great <laughs> dentistry. I'm telling you, it was actually enjoyable. And I really don't like going to the dentist, but this crown had to be replaced. It was great. Same, same day crown service. Amazing. Man, dentistry has come a long way since I first had my first cavity. Okay, so what is our health and beauty routine for today? Take time for self-care. Remember, it is facial day, facial skin care. So this is the day you want to get out all of your facial products. Use those almost empties first. So your cleanser, your exfoliator, your um, vitamin C serums or whatever serums you use, your moisturizer, your slugging um, uh, stuff that you put over your moisturizer so at night your face doesn't dry out, particularly if you sleep with a fan. So, um, all those facial devices that you have, get your waxer out and, you know, clean up those eyebrows, um, get your, um, you know, LED masks or your microcurrent or your microderm, um, rollers, whatever you use. I use a little apparatus for, uh, tightening my jawline and I also use an LED mask and then I use my microcurrent. Um, I have a facial massager that I use. So this is a day, just take 30 minutes and you can also meditate during that time. If you're just relaxing, use your facial mask, but get your facial products out. We've created that facial beauty basket um, bin for a beauty bin basket or box for all your facial care products and make sure you wash any sponges or cleansing items that you use. So just like our makeup brushes, we want to wash those and make sure we're not putting bacteria back on our face. Cleanliness is everything when you're dealing with your skin. Okay. So that's our main health and beauty, but also remember we hydrate. This is my, um, apple cider solution, um, apple cider vinegar solution that I drink to help my body might want to take a, a bath in Epsom salts or Himalayan salts or just a nice bubble bath with candles and for that matter put some flower petals in there you know soft music something to help you relax you can double time that or multitask by using that as your meditation or your stillness time nothing like taking 30 minutes for a nice quiet bath 
to help relax you. Okay, so that's the other thing, stillness. Take time for stillness, meditation, prayer, read scriptures, whatever works for you. Um, it's just time to calm your mind, your body, and your spirit. Then also, there's a fly. <laughs> um, also, we want to make sure that we are eating clean, exercising 30 minutes, if you can manage 30 minutes a day, a brisk walk, a quick bike ride, something to kind of get your body and your metabolism and get your, um, uh, just kind of get your vibe going and your juices flowing. That's really going to set the tone for your day. Okay. If you didn't check out yesterday's video, we have a whole series of prep steps um, for Sunday that set us up for success during the week. But also, this is fiscal fast. If you're participating in fiscal fast, there were some ideas that I shared with you in yesterday's video about some of the things that we can do during this fiscal fast week to save money. Um, so, a couple of things that I just wanted to mention. Um, we have a cleaning framework. I call it the home caring framework, which is we clean, um, just kind of clean a couple of rooms a day in our home and throughout the week. And then by the end of the week, we're done for the week. The weekend is free time, time for us to relax, restore, cultivate joy, work on things that make us happy, spend time with people we love, doing things we love because we need that revitalization. We want to not just survive, we want to thrive, and thriving is having that time. So, and feeling good about yourself. So, our today's cleaning for Monday, I do in the living room, dining room, do whatever room works for you, but this is the day, and since I'm on fiscal fast, um, I'm not going to be out running errands as much, I'm not going to be out eating with my friends, um, you know, lunch. I'm going to stay home more. I don't plan a lot of appointments unless they're necessary. Like there's, you know, I had to schedule so far in advance. Um, so I try to be at home more during this week. I try to slow my life down. I'm not running back and forth. I'm not feeling like I'm constantly on the go. I try to just be at home more so I can focus on just kind of doing my end of the month stuff to get caught up, to clean up any residual energy, this lingering to-do list, whatever. That's the time I really focus on getting that done. I wash the dogs. I wash the horses. Um, I clean everybody's bedding. I make sure all the dishes are sterilized. I do that every week, but um, I like, like my chickens. I clean out their little hen houses and put all fresh bedding in. So I kind of do this through the week. It really keeps me motivated um, and I feel so good at the end of the week, at the end of the month, that I start the new month with this new um, burst of energy because I feel caught up. So what we did today, living room, dining room. Now, I'm not talking about a deep every nook and cranny clean. We do that a couple of times a year. We walk you through it using a compass row strategy so you don't get overwhelmed. But I'm talking about a light cleaning plus. So light cleaning is what we do during the week, every other week of the month. And that's where we dust, we vacuum, we, you know, just tidy up, put things away. On the last week of the month during fiscal fast, I do a little more. I clean all the glass. I wipe all the windows down and the window seals and clean the mirrors and all the glass surfaces. All of those got cleaned. Um, I'm getting a notice on my computer. So sorry. Um, I also, you know, dusted, I, and what I do is call, I do a quick check. So I open all the drawers I make sure everything's back in its place. Every drawer is a dedicated space for something. So I look at, I just open the drawers, make sure everything that's meant to be in that drawer is there, um, and just tidy it up, you know, make sure it's up. And sometimes I just put a little you know, body mist, room spray, essential oil spray. I just lightly spray in the drawers like that. And that way, when I open the drawer the next time, it smells good. But it also is just kind of that, yeah, that's good. That space is good. Let me freshen. Let me freshen. And then I'm good. This is something that you can do with cologne that people have given you that just doesn't work with your body chemistry. Um, you know, you can just use this as a room spray and or a drawer spray or you can spray your gym bag with it whatever but it's an, another use for something and i'm all about using stuff that we have 
because that's what we have it for. So again, just I open all the drawers and do just a quick check. And as I'm going through the room, anything that needs to be put away in that dedicated space, I put it away. So everything's tidied up. Um, I, I sweep and mop. Since I don't um, really vacuum here, I sweep and mop. I found this under the couch. What did you find? What did you find in your couch or under your couch? Now, I have, I have to have boards under my couch to keep my Roomba from getting stuck. My favorite, the favorite place my Roomba likes is under the couch. So I have to have some boards under there. I have four by four boards underneath the couch to bounce the Roomba back off. But once in a while, I still get a little something that sneaks through. And this is Mr. Winston's ball. So there you go, Winston. There's your ball. And so what did you find? <laughs> Oftentimes you're going to find receipts, you're going to find keys, you're going to find your lipstick, you're going to find pens, you're going to find toys, you're going to find Legos. If there's a Lego in your house, there's one in your couch. So just write down what you found because I really think it's exciting when we find something. I hope you found something you were looking for, but in the case that you are looking for something and you've already checked under your couch and in your couch because you, you already cleaned, you know it's not there so you don't have to waste time looking. Okay, so living room, dining room, just a quick clean. Oh, I wanted to mention one more thing. If you don't have one of these dandy little things, this is O Cedar, but it's a spin mop. I suggest you get one. Remember, I'm a de influencer. I, I like you to be able to use what you have. And I, I would rather you have financial stability and well-being as opposed to advocate for you going out and bu buying a bunch of things. Um my goal is to help you feel better about your life and to be happier and you're happier when you and when you feel better about your life because you have fi some financial stability and you feel like you have some well-being so the, but when i do advise that you buy something it's because i feel like it makes your life a whole lot easier and believe me i've mopped every way under the planet hands and knees bucket and and sponge i've done the ring mops i've done the you know the little swifter mops i've done it all i'm going to tell you this works the best and let me tell you why okay so you've got the bucket you put your water and your solution in. You can use Murphy's oil soap on your floors if they're floors, but use whatever flooring your flooring manufacturer recommends. But you can use vinegar and water. You can use, um, you know, a, a cleaning solution. I'm actually trying out a new cleaning solution um, called Otoban. Um, it's a antiviral. So antibacterial kind of thing, and it smells like baby fresh. So I'm actually trying it out. See how I like it. Now, you buy these little mop heads that you can throw into your washer and wash them. The thing I like about this is you're going to want to buy several of these mop heads, but you can keep one that you don't use on the floors. Do you want to guess what you're going to do with it? No, it's not a hat. What you're going to do with it is you're going to put it on your spin mop head. And snap it on like that. Snap it on like that. Usually it's on the floor and I just step on it, pop it on, but. It's not staying on. Okay. Beyond there. You can then use this to clean your ceiling fans. You can clean door jams. You can dust your walls. You can get on the top of your refrigerator. You can get on the top of your kitchen cabinets if you keep it dry or if you want to spray it with a little Murphy's oil soap. And just lightly so that you can capture dust. This is a, like a microfiber cleaning machine. And it's going to capture so much dust on from your walls. Now, I usually use a microfiber wand, but this also works, especially if you have furniture you can't move and you're trying to dust around. This will keep you from climbing up on a bunch of little step stools and, and um, ladders, which is safer for you. But another thing I would keep, let me just, before I get way too far ahead, I get excited about these things. Keep one that's dry 
that you can throw into your wash. Um, that's going to keep it from getting all dirty with all the debris that you're going to have on your floor, like dog hair and grass and you know stuff like that. Um, so I would keep one that's kind of pristine clean and use that for dusting your walls, your door jams, whatever. Then I also have one that I use for baseboards. This is amazing. So, you know, I've cleaned baseboards with a scrub brush for the longest time. I've used um, the uh, washcloths that have a little bit of texture and wiped them down. But if you're like in a hurry and you don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing that, because that's like an every nook and cranny clean kind of thing. When we do one wall at a time and we move the furniture away from the wall. But if I just want to quickly dust my baseboards, I can use a spin mop. You just get it damp, you spin it dry, you've seen how it works, you just push the pedal until it's just lightly damp, and you just run it along your baseboard. What a cool trick, going to save you a whole lot of time. You can also dust your floor with this. Instead of sweeping, you can keep a couple of heads that are dry, like this, these really new ones that are like microfiber magnets, and you can just literally move them along the floor. And I just mopped, and instead of having to sweep, you can just, I hope it's clean, you can just dust your floor with your spin mop. So I have like eight of these, and you just get them like this, and I keep some for mopping, I keep some for baseboards, and I keep some that are clean for dusting walls, and then I keep one for just quickly tidying up the floor from all the dog hair from Mr. Winston. Okay, so um, that's one of the products that I do encourage. It just is going to make your life a whole lot easier. Okay, so a couple of other things before we uh, close out for the day. Um, our color for today is reds, pinks, yellows, or oranges. Remember, we're scaffolding our laundry so we don't spend all weekend doing laundry. We wear certain colors during the day and or during the week so that we can do those loads that night, dry them, fold them, put them back. That way, no more laundry piles. A um, couple things too is during fiscal fast, we focus on using our almost empties. And so this was my essential oil that was almost empty. I went ahead and put that in my diffuser. So this bottle gets recycled. I also used a little bit of this tape. This is the last bit to clean off my table from where the cat decided to take a nap. So now I know that I need to put on my focus shopping list some packing tape from my stationery and packaging center, but I can replace this now. Take that off and this can be recycled as well. So that's two things that are almost empties that have been used and this is reusable so I can just get another tape. Okay, I think that's about it for today. Um, let's just recap. Facial Skin Care Day. Take time for exercise, hydration, meditation or stillness, and combine those into a nice relaxing bath. Um, take vitamins and supplements if you subscribe to that practice and eat clean. Don't toxify your body. We're trying to detox it. It, it boosts your metabolism when your body's not um, in a toxic. If it's not fighting toxins, it has a much more um, vibrant metabolism. Okay, and then for cleaning today, we are fiscal fasting. So we're home a little more. So we're cleaning, we're straightening, we're vacuuming. We're kind of giving a, a, a little lighter clean, light clean plus. And so get everything back in order in your living room, dining room, clothing for today for our rainbow closet and laundry facilitation strategy is reds, pinks, oranges, or yellows. Um, I'm going to post um, part of our fiscal fasting is using the food that we have on hand. Um, and I call them cheap eats because usually you already have a lot of the ingredients. Last night I made a roast chicken, which I had gotten on sale. It was in the freezer. I think I paid three or four dollars for it. It's a little just a frying hen, but I roast them. I had some keto stuffing. I had some potatoes. So I made some potato salad because, of course, I have eggs with all my happy chickens. And I had a little bit of celery left and we had some pickles. So I made this 
wonderful potato salad. And um, then I had roast chicken with stuffing. And I know that seems like a lot of carbs, but I ate the potato salad for lunch. Last night I had the chicken and stuffing. Tonight we're going, I have some onions and I meant to bring them. <laughs> I had some beautiful onions already ready to, for, to show you. I have four onions. I'm going to make a, not like a French onion soup, but I'm going to make a golden onion turmeric soup, which is delightful and it's healthy. So um, I'm going to have that for dinner with some grilled cheese. So very light eating this week. We're just eating things up that we have, and that's going to save money. I think the only things that we purchased to make our menu this week is we made the got the bread and the cheese for the grilled cheese, and I truly think that is all that we had to purchase for the execution of our menu that we planned using ingredients that we have. Okay, I know this was a little longer video than I really wanted. I want to keep these about 10 to 15 minutes, but there's always so much to say. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please put your comments or questions in the box below so I can address them, and I will see you tomorrow.